Hi everyone. If you're like me, you get a new gun, you can't wait to hit the range. Get out there, put that new gun through its paces, justify that purchase if you will. Well, for me, this Henry 357 rifle is a bit of a rarity. I have had it for a while now and have not shot it. Put a sling on it and it's just been in the safe. And the reason for that, I wanted to get an optic for it. And like many of you, I agree that a scope on here is really a no-go. Uh, these rifles are known for their compactness, their handiness, and the, just the good balance. And a scope is really going to ruin all of that. And uh, I, I just didn't want to go that route. Now, a red dot, totally different story. But most of the rifles and little carbines I, I was seeing out there, guys were putting full Picatinny rails on there. Then you were having to get an adapter plate to mount the red dot to, and that really just created a lot of bulk. Uh, aesthetically, not that great, and also it was raising that red dot up. And I want to be able to shoot this thing and maintain something that resembles a decent cheek weld. So I wanted something really low profile. EGW makes a mount for the Henry rifles. Henry sells it on their website. It mounts to the rear of the receiver, so certainly a viable option. But there is another one on the market. Phoenix Weaponry came out with a skeletonized mount um, some time back. These were actually pretty hard to get, and I've had this one for a little while now, but I was on the wait list for a while too before they actually produced one for the optic I was interested in. So it's skeletonized, very lightweight, and would appear to be pretty low profile. So let's mount this up and take a look at the Phoenix Weaponry red dot mount for the Henry rifle. Pretty straightforward packaging for the mount. Inside you have the mount itself, the screws to secure it to the rifle, and pretty straightforward installation instructions. Let's take a look at the mount up close. Pretty straightforward, certainly should be very lightweight as skeletonized as it is. Let's take a look and see. And at 0.241 ounces. This specific mount is for the Holosun 507K, very compact optic. I won't cover the actual installation of the mount and optic, primarily due to the fact that Phoenix Weaponry has a very good video covering the mounting of this plate on their website. But I will go ahead and install it now, and then we can take a look at it. I got everything installed yesterday, took it to the range, got it zeroed, and I know this is not a video about the Henry rifle, but this thing was a blast to shoot. So I may have to come back and do a specific video on this thing later on. But back to the mount. Install, really no issues. The only problem was the screws that came with the Holosun 507K were too long for attaching to the mount. And Phoenix Weaponry even mentions that in their install video on their website. I simply trimmed them and then the installation was straightforward and no other problems. They recommend 25 inch pounds for mounting the mount to the receiver of the rifle and 25 inch pounds for mounting the optic to the mount. I think that 25 inch pounds for mounting the optic to the mount is a little high. I would stick with 18 to 20 and you'll be just fine. As far as the cheek weld goes, it's not as good as I was hoping it would be, but it's certainly better than if I'd put a scope on here or had put a pick rail on here and then use some type of optic specific mount to attach to that pick rail. My preferred cheek weld would be right here locking my cheekbone down on the stock and ideally looking right through that window. If I have to build it up a little bit with some flesh from my face, I can do that, but even then I'm still looking at the base of the optic. So this is where I want to be, but I'm having to come right here. That's a, not an issue though. As long as I maintain good pressure here on that stock, I can come up and actually work the action, fire, do everything I need to do, and still maintain that dot and the target and not lose them under recoil. It's just a matter of maintaining that pressure there. So does it do what I wanted it to do? Yeah, it does. Uh, it certainly is allowing me to make shots 
more accurately, better shots, better groups downrange than I would be getting with my older eyes using just these iron sights. So I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, this is a, a good little mount and I cannot see any way that you're going to mount a red dot any lower on this particular type of firearm. Until they come out with an MOS equivalent for the Henry rifles, it's just not going to happen. The only options on the market are the Phoenix Weaponry and the EGW mount uh, that I'm aware of for mounting a red dot to these rifles. And I haven't handled the EGW one, but having handled this one, I really like it. It does have a larger footprint than the EGW in that the mounting screws are exposed while the optic is in place. And normally I like small footprints, but I like this one from the standpoint of it centers the optic on the receiver aesthetically. I think it looks good. And also, if I needed to remove this, I can remove it as a unit and then switch it to another rifle. Or if I'm needing to work on this gun and needed to remove the optic, I can simply remove the mount and optic together. I don't have to remove the optic in order to access the mounting screws. So I like that. The only conceivable issue I see with this mount, and this is me thinking worst case scenario, if you'll take a look at these photos that I took of either side of the rifle looking up at the mount, you'll notice the skeletonized openings at the base of the mount. My only concern is if debris or water gets inside there, um, is it going to create an issue? How easily can I get it out? Yeah, the water will evaporate and most debris will probably fall out of there. And for most fair weather shooters, it's probably a non-issue. But for guys who are actually taking this out in the field to maybe pursue deer uh, at short distance, then it could be a potential issue. So just something to keep in mind uh, whenever you get this. I don't know that having this thing machined out of a solid piece of aluminum would add that much more weight, and it would certainly negate any issues of stuff migrating into holes at the base of the mount. So if you're looking for a mount for a red dot to put on your Henry rifle, check out the mount from Phoenix Weaponry. I think you'll like what they have to offer. Until next time, you all stay safe. Take care.